Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, the 8th of March. I'm James Spann. Temperatures stay well below average today and another freeze likely for much of the state early tomorrow morning and then some rain at times this weekend. Check things out early this morning. Big trough over the eastern states. That spun up that big nor'easter yesterday for the northeastern states and it's pulled down some pretty chilly air this morning. We're seeing some upper 20s. We have 28 for Coleman, Haleyville 29, 30 at Gadsden, Birmingham and Tuscaloosa sitting at 33. Those were taken at 4.30, and by the time we get to 6 or 7 a.m., most everybody should be below freezing across the northern half of the state. Even Alexander City is sitting at 30, and tomorrow morning should be a bit colder. Around the nation, pretty cold over much of the United States on this mid-March day. We'll warm up a little bit this weekend, but more cold air comes down the pike next week. There's the watch warning map. We still have winter storm warnings in effect for parts of upper New England. And down here, look at all the freeze warnings in effect for tonight and tomorrow morning. Basically, all of Alabama except for the southeastern corner of the state and Mobile and Baldwin counties. Uh, freeze warnings in effect for parts of Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina as well. Now, over the weekend, we've got a risk of severe weather on day three, which is Saturday west of the state. This would include places like Shreveport, Texarkana, Monroe, Vicksburg. But no part of Alabama in a risk of severe weather, and we don't expect any at this point. But rain, yes. This is the rain for the next seven days. Pretty good amounts down through here across the deep south. Uh, in our state, amounts between one and two inches for the north under one inch for the south and uh, most all of that will be falling this weekend so let's check it out model fans this is the 060 gfs at noon today big trough over the eastern states and again today sunny breezy and cool highs between 52 and 55 tomorrow morning we start the day in the 20s in many areas that's the reason for the freeze warning but by afternoon we should reach the low to mid 60s with a good supply of sunshine all right, for the weekend, here we go. A surface low begins to form near Wichita Falls, Texas. Moist air returns. A pretty decent part of the day Saturday should be dry, but understand there will be the chance of showers. The high should be in the 60s, the sky becoming cloudy. This is Saturday night at midnight. We're finally getting much better agreement. The GFS adjusting the surface low southward in agreement with the European. Saturday night at midnight, it's got the surface low north of Greenville, Mississippi, or, or south of Greenville, Mississippi, so rain should become widespread. And then by Sunday at midday, the surface low is near Gadsden. And on that track, that means uh, severe weather should not be a problem here, just a lot of rain, maybe some thunder. The most widespread rain will be Saturday night and Sunday. And rain amounts between one and two inches are likely, and based on this, rain could linger even into Sunday afternoon. So get ready for a wet weekend, especially Saturday night and Sunday. Go to Monday, another nor'easter forms off the Atlantic coast. Breezy and much cooler, highs dropping in the 50s. We'll be close to freezing Monday morning, and then Tuesday, a freeze seems fairly likely. Lows should be in the low 30s. The sky will be sunny, the high in the 50s, and Wednesday morning, another freeze likely. Again, upper 20s and low 30s. I should be close to 60, and this is a week from today. Big trough on the East Coast, and the sky will be sunny. Lows in the 30s, highs around 60. This is the end of the forecast period. Saturday the 17th, a zonal flow troughing to the north. Moisture comes in, maybe some uh, showers at that point, but that's not a severe weather look. Numbers coming off the European. Look at next week how cold it is for mid-March. Highs in the 50s, lows at or below freezing. And after that, we go back in the 60s by that following 
weekend. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.